Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will discuss these two elements, checkbox and the drop down with multiple choices. Meaning to say, we can select multiple options or choices using drop down as well as the checkbox. In checkbox, we can check multiple options as well or choices. But before I continue this, Please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so like I said a while ago, I'm going to discuss these two checkbox and drop down. Actually, I already discussed in another video or separate video the drop down. But there in that discussion, I discussed only one option. Meaning to say, the user can only select one option from the many choices in the drop down. So that video is right over here, this one here. So I am suggesting that. Uh, you have to watch this video first so that you will have a better understanding on how to capture data from a form using different input elements such as text box, radio button, text area, uh, password which is similar to text box. All of those are discussed here in this video here. And so if we go back to our topic now here, so I'm just going to focus on these two elements, the checkbox and the drop down. Okay, now I already have here the code for this form that we have right here. And so we only have checkbox and this one is the drop down. Okay, so as you can see from the checkbox, we only have four options, mango, apple, banana, and guava. And if you will notice the value, they are just the same. The option is the same with the value. Of course, you can change the value. Okay, It could be numeric value. In this case, I just use string value, which is the same name, guava. Meaning to say, when I select guava, I am, or the value that I'm getting is also guava. If I select banana, the value that I'm getting is banana okay so again you can change this into a numeric value let's say for example mango if you change this mango to one then when you select mango you're getting the value one not the mango so the mango here the apple here the banana here and the guava here these are just the labels that you can see as your option okay so the value is still the value right the the string here or the value here that you put here is the actual value that you're getting when you select that particular option now if you notice also here in the name here you will notice we have a variable here which is fruits and it has open and close square bracket because checkbox will allow you to select multiple values and so if you select multiple values what will happen to those values is that if you select three those three choices that you made will go to the array so this actually becomes an array that's why we have open and close square bracket which is actually the same with the select here so select name base the balls open and close square bracket and then I have here the attribute multiple which means I can select multiple choices or multiple options and again those choices that I will make will go to an array and the name of that array is vegetables it will be something like this so the post value of this uh, drop down here will become an array it's called vegetables and for the fruits the variable I use here is fruits so again take note you have to put here multiple otherwise you are only you are only using a drop down wherein you can only select one so if you want to select more than one value using your control by the way 
when you click and then you click the next one you have to make sure that you press the control key from your keyboard and click on the choice that you want let's say for example cauliflower i'm going to click here and so as you can see tomato and cauliflower are selected all right and so just like what i discussed in the previous video about how to get data from a form so you must have a button so we have here a button here get data and reset so the get data is type submit and the reset is type reset submit means you're getting the data and it will process it on another php file and what is that php file that is the one we put here in the action so as you can see in line number 10 form method post action and then the file name of the php that means when i click the submit button it will go to this php file here get choices.php of which i have already here okay so i already created it get choices.php okay now again because fruits and vegetables are an array so therefore when we when it goes now for processing we're capturing an array so how do we capture those array so basically it's the same with what we are doing before no in capturing uh, the data from a text box so we are going to use dollar post so something like this so so in this case i'm just going to say fruits here so as simple as that of course i'm, I'm going to put it in a variable so let's say for example dollar m fruits okay so that means this fruits here which is coming from our form fruits here right in our form here that means i'm transferring all what i have selected here in this variable dollar m fruits dollar m fruits will automatically become an array okay so if you selected more than one so that means dollar m fruits is an array so it will have two elements because we selected two here two fruits apple and banana so the first element is zero and the second element is one again i already created a video about array in php so you can have that one numeric array and associative array so in this case they will become a numeric array and so that is what will happen to our fruits if we selected two they will become an array and so you can use numeric array there that means the first element is zero or the second choice that we selected will become element one so i am suggesting if you don't have a background about numeric array to visit this channel or visit our channel and watch this video about numeric array so that you will have a better understanding of numeric array and so let's go back to our topic here so that is what will happen m fruits will become an array with two elements because we selected two if you selected three that means it will have three elements that is the m fruits and so for the vegetable i'm just going to let's say copy this one all right so let's say for instance beige tables there you go so i'm just going to call it as m veggie so like that so m veggie will become an array as well so how many elements for dollar m veggie that will be two elements because i selected tomato and cauliflower so that is what will happen okay so if you would like to now get the data that we have selected i'm going to get apple banana and guava i'm going to print those okay because these are array then you can use for statement or while statement or the do while statement using the element address okay but the problem here is that if you are the designer of this form you don't know how many will the user select okay so better if this is the case better we have to use the for each statement okay because in the for each statement it can get 
all the data from an array okay, without specifying the index address because right now here we know that there are three elements but in reality you don't know how many the user will select it could be two it could be three it could be four okay that's the problem with for statement because in the for statement you have to make sure that you know how many are selected because you have to specify there how many times it will loop so in this case if it is three you have to loop three times so let us just use the for each statement and i have here already the syntax of it so again i have a video about this for statement and that is here again for statement so using for statement it will allow you to get all the values of an array without specifying the index address so basically for each is designed for array okay so let's go back to our topic here and so i'm going to use the for each so let's say i'm going to get all the fruits that i selected right over here all right so this one here so apple banana and guava so let's get them and print those fruits so basically here i'm just going to say here uh, let's say first uh, selected fruits okay so so i'm just going to uh, put our selected fruits on the next line so i'm just going to say for each and then follow the syntax so the array name what is our array name for fruits so m fruits there you go as let's say dollar value or whatever variable you would like okay in this case i'm just going to use value and so now i'm going to print now the fruit the dollar value here okay the value of this dollar value will depend on how many times you uh, you already loop or it already loop for instance if it is the first time first time it will go to the loop in line 21 so the value of dollar value is mango when it goes up again when it goes back to the loop the value of dollar value is banana and so on okay so that's how it is so in the first loop the value of dollar value is apple so let's try to print that value or banana so i'm just going to say here echo let's say dollar value and then i'm just going to print on the next line the next fruit so so it's going to be like this okay so for each my fruits as dollar value echo dollar value so this is how we select or this is how we print our selected fruits what about the vegetable so i'm just going to copy this and basically i'm just going to say here echo so that it will go to the next line again here selected vegetables there you go so here i'm just going to say here my veggie or m veggie because that is our variable for our vegetables so i'm just going to say here let's say i'm going to say here ball all right there you go so different variable so here i'm going to say here dollar ball okay so let's try to test this one now if it is going to work so so here it is let's try to run this one now here so i'm going to click get data now and let's see if these are all printed right so we're going to click get data and so as you can see all the fruits that we have selected apple banana and guava are printed or were printed as well as the vegetables that we selected broccoli and cauliflower were printed okay so that is just how we get the data from a form of course each time it loops the value of dollar value changes. okay so again if we go back to our form here the first value of dollar value is apple and so it will print that apple in line 22 and then 23 and then it will return back to 21 so m fruits as dollar value so this time the the value of dollar value is now banana so until it will end until all the choices are 
process or uh, printed in this case okay so therefore you can do whatever you want now with the dollar value you can you can test the value using if statement or whatever requirements uh, is there in the problem that you would like to solve okay so this is how we get the selected values using checkbox and drop down with multiple options to select so always remember just the array it, you have to use array in this particular elements the, the checkbox and the drop down i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one